So here we are at the train museum and we're going to do the second half of the image that we started in Bishop where we shot the background with the beautiful grass and the trees and the mountain and now we're going to do the composite piece which will be the railroad tracks, the handcart, this old guy that got all the answers and a beautiful woman on it with this dress flowing and the wind in her hair and um, it's kind of what will be the new start for me, new beginnings, knowing my direction, setting off. So that's the picture we're going to finish today. There's a few things that I've discovered since I got here and that there are a few bends here as well. On the Tech Scout, we were looking for a beautiful bend uh, in the tracks where the sun lined up with the landscape. And we had that almost perfect. Two months from now when the sun is falling a little bit further over, that would be perfect. Um, here, it's better for the sun. So I, I think at least we're going to go down there and explore it, that curve, and see if that works out. And then we're going to shoot that closer to home base, which is the museum, rather than driving 15 minutes to the edge of the tracks. So that's where we're going to start. We're uh, going to scout, figure this out, and then we're ready to shoot. So I'm pretty, pretty happy with this. Obviously no place seemed to be exactly perfect. Um, this one has some clutter around it. But if you remember when I stood there in Bishop and I talked about the tree line on this side, my camera was down this way, the tracks coming down this way, you can kind of see it. This tree line lines up perfect with the tree line in Bishop. This curve comes in just like I wanted it. The sun is right. The only thing here that's a little cluttered for me are these lamp posts that will cast some shadows on the tracks. But it's easier to take out these small shadows than recreate new shadows for all the trees. Now I'm already going to have shadows coming through these trees here. So it will be a matter of just blending it and setting this right into that landscape. So I'm pretty darn happy. And I'm also happier that we have access to all the stuff that comes with the museum rather than driving way out there in the middle of nowhere and uh, shoot at the tracks there where the sun wasn't quite right. So uh, we're improvising a little bit. I talk about being prepared but I think it's also important to keep an open mind. So if you see something better just go with it. And uh, the train museum is flexible. They allowed us to come down here and shoot instead. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to head back. We're going to get the model. We're going to do an extra shot to do some beautiful things since we're, I've already paid to be here at the museum. And then when the sun gets lower, two, three hours from now, we're just going to put our camera at the same height, the same distance, and just drop this tracks right into the landscape from Bishop. So our time to shoot this uh, is really right at sunset. Uh, I made some comps earlier today, put together four or five backgrounds uh, spanning sort of the hour of light that we were there. So to get the process started sooner, to not wait until the last minute to shoot this, I want to soften the light there, there is. So we're going to put up a silk, about a half stop silk to diffuse the light. To the eye, if the sun is right here or here on a person, it doesn't matter much. It matters for the landscape because it shapes it more. For the people, we can't really tell a difference. So you're going to soften the light and match that two up, or match those two up. So we have three silks. In my kit, we have six, so we have two frames, and we have quarter, half, and a full stop silk uh, for each frame we have. It's amazing tools. Um, we use them more in the six by six format, but these uh, larger ones, when we have a larger set like this, uh, is very convenient. We're also going to set up a silk behind. Now this will be uh, just for a cutout to make my composite easier for hair and stuff. So it's almost like putting up a seamless behind there. So we're about to set up, I'm pretty excited about this picture. Um, two things are going on. We're going to set up a silk to soften the light on them, as I mentioned earlier, and it's putting up another silk behind them. Now this cloud cover is coming in. If it's like this, it's darn perfect for us. 
that's the silk in the sky rather than dealing with the wind and the silk down here. So we're going to work with the light we have for now. If this clouds over even more, we've got to create a sun where we have the sun on the background plate. So then we might set up a stroll. But for now, it's pretty simple. Just going to work with natural light, get a silk behind it so that we can mask out the people pretty easy. Uh, done an amazing job on casting here. Uh, lady's beautiful, the guy's extraordinary. Hair and makeup is beautiful too. That hand cart you see on the road there, on the railway, was yellow and brand new a day ago. They use it for racing, so it's a lot of fun. It was the best one that we could find for the shoot. And what we needed was to distress it, to make it look like it was old. That's what I really wanted for this photograph, to tell the story. So we sent a prop stylist up to work with the guys that owns it. It's painted, there's old wood on it. And now, to me, it looks old and beautiful. There's a few yellow spots there, but we mask those out and retouch. So I think we have all the elements we need now to create a beautiful photograph. We're going to wait for the sun until it gets lower, work to the talent, get a wind machine on the dress, and uh, then it's just to execute. When I shot the background plate in the Bishop, I imagined the train tracks coming into the frame like this and bending along the trees. We have the same setup here, tree line, tracks coming in, the sun at the same direction. It's important now for us to match up the camera distance and the camera height, also the camera lens. So we have measured ourselves 32 feet from the handcart to where the camera is, and then 82 inches from the ground up. We haven't set that up yet, but that's where we'll end up. So next up is just fine tuning, working with the talent, giving them the story so that they know what I'm looking for, and uh, just take those pictures. It should be 82 from the bottom of the plate. Bottom of the camera? Plate. 83. Okay. Wow. Am I capturing this? Ah, oh, dude, look at that. Uh, I think we need a silk anyway. What silks do we have? Uh, uh, quarter, let's, do, quarter. let's do a quarter. Uh, that's on there. It's on there. Well, we'll just uh, pull, pull it over. It looks, right? let me try it. It looks too harsh, but try it. Hey, uh, gentlemen. Let me see, I don't remember their names. Hi, gentlemen. Can we push them forward two feet? Two feet? Yeah. You want the handle in the same position? Uh, let's just see where it falls. Let's see what it goes. The right in the flat in the middle would be fine, because then she could partake too. Yeah. Okay. Oh, How's that dress treat you, Kim? Hold on the handle or the handle or the handle. Get a left to the right. We're going to go forward. Oh, hey, what do you mean forward? This is back. Yeah. 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 <laughs> All right, let's stop a little, little bit further. A little bit further? Yeah. A <laughs> little bit further. Cool. All right. Yeah, man. Hey, Kim, let's try this out for a minute. So you're glancing back over your shoulder this way, exactly. Hands on the thing, on the handles. Yeah. Whew. And you're just helping her out. Don't look in the camera there, Gary. Look at her, look at Kim. And pretend you're going at it. Don't overpost this thing. No, yeah, no, no. <laughs> Beautiful. Eric, stop down at third, please. Um, Christine, can you try to just lift the dress up and just toss it in the air? Sure. See if it works. Are you ready to start shooting? I'm going to do a test frame and then I'm going to lay it in there. Smile, Sarah, you're in frame. You're going to stop down twice? <laughs> yeah, I heard it. Down to third, right? Yeah. How about two thirds, Mike? Uh, yeah, let's try it. Ready? One, two. So when I say one, two, three, Christine tosses it up and you fling your hair back and we just go, woohoo! Ready? Then I count down to one. Christine goes like this. Kim looks back over her shoulder exactly and you just be stoic and you ride that thing. That's right. I love it. Yes. 
One, two, and woo! Nice! Mm. Nailed it, break time. I'm gonna put this in and... I got it. Yeah, I got it. Nailed it! <laughs> I like the attitude. That was a little dramatic, but man. It's kind of fun though. All right, so we just did a quick test frame and it's really for me to get that visual on the composite. We have the background, I put that together earlier. And now I just did a quick test frame and it's for me to find that perspective and light and all that stuff line up. So I'm gonna do this real quickly on the screen. You get to see the screen capture and then we'll go back at it to fine adjust and keep on shooting. So what I just did was to shoot a quick reference frame of the talent on the cart, lighting myself up after the measurements that I did when I shot the background plate. So what I'm doing is to put together a background. I did that earlier today, spent about an hour in front of the computer, and now I have that reference backplate. Take the frame that I just shot and I'm going to lay it in there just to get the eyes on it, to see if the size relationship, if the placement in the background, if all that stuff feels good to me. So I just roughed it in there, I'm going to massage it a little bit and then go back at it, do another frame, move myself around, make sure that everything feels good prior to us really getting into shooting the talent. Okay, beautiful. Let's try it again. How do you guys feel? Woo! Not quite. <laughs> uh, there's something coming down the road, so it's, you're more inquisitive, less posy. Just soften the shoulders, make it real, no posing. Just wow, what's going on back there? Yes. You can look beyond, you can mix it up. Sorry? Put one on it. Let me see. Let's, can we easily move the... Yeah? Do we have a couple of strong boys? Let's just try it for now and then I'll find we can sort it out afterwards. Okay. Might be coolest with him down and you up. Yeah. Yeah. For now though, let's just make it work the way it is. Okay. All right, ready? And go! Beautiful. One more time. Ah, oh, I love it. Hang tight, hang tight. I'm gonna... All right, ready? One, two, and go! Beautiful, again. One, two, and go! Woo! Too much hair, a little slower with the face. Ready? And one, two, and woo! Woo! Nice. I like it. One more time, and go. Nice, I like that. I did a quick one on you. Go. <laughs> Ready? And go. Nice. Little softer in the eyes. When I say go, Gary, you don't have to go like this. Just, just the same. You just be, be the good looking, handsome guy you are. <laughs> Look back behind you. Yeah, beautiful, and the dress. Nice. Let's try a few. Thank you.
So we've now been through the whole process. We scouted both locations. We knew that the light would line up. We got the props we needed. We got the casting we needed. I measured all the camera angles and perspectives. And the last piece to all this is to do the visual on the screen. I spent about half an hour now lining it up and I'm really happy. The way it looks on the screen is obviously rough, but it all falls in there just beautifully. I talked about softening the sky and the light, but we have this beautiful slight overcast uh, that came in, so there's no light needed. We're just going to let the sun go down and do the work for us. Maybe we do a bounce. The white behind again is for an easy cutout, and uh, we're ready to start shooting. Now it's just to work with the talent. I shot for five minutes, not even. 20 frames maybe, and both of them just did beautiful. She's got the hair flying, she's looking back. He is just perfect. So after this, I did one change. I lined it up, I think it's beautiful, but they feel a little close to camera, a little close to the edge of the frame. And I like for them to sit a little bit further into the picture. So I pushed the cart down about two, three feet. Uh, it had also helped us with the position of the uh, hand position. We talked about this in uh, compositions, and now with him down and her up, and the dress coming out, that will be a perfect triangle shape between his back coming up to her, the dress coming down, and following along on the bottom plane of the cart. So, um, yeah, now we're, we're all set up to, to execute, so I'm pretty excited. Oh, I'm quite, I'm not, hang on. I'm losing light here. That's better. I'm just shooting tracks. So I have them clear of all this that's down here. In case I want it. So I just walked down around the bend here and shot a few frames. The reason for this being that you have all this stuff that lays in the way for the track, so I don't really see it from this perspective. In case I want it, if, in case I can hide it behind the grass in the back plate, I want to make sure that I can finish this curve into the picture. So I just step forward a few feet, so I got a clear view down the path, and uh, we have that. So if I need it, I have those parts and pieces to make sure that we get the whole train tracks turning into the photograph. One more thing that I just did was to capture these transitions between grass and gravel. What we have in Bishop is all grass, and it's hard often to cut the grass out and lay something in it. So I want to make sure that I have a transition that's already captured, so I don't have to paint the grass out, right? So I shot those, and we could lay those in and have this beautiful transition between the gravel around the tracks and the back plate with the grass in Bishop. Kim, how are you? Great. You pumped up? Ready to do it? Oh! <laughs> Let me see. Mm. Yeah, I like that. Better. Yeah, look out. That way, down the tracks for you too. I love it. All right. Ready? So put your mind to it. Coming down the tracks, you're thinking about whatever that is that follows you, and there's some sense of emotional expression there, right? It's not a pose, it's just, whew. Yeah, exactly. Jillian, you ready? All right, one, two, and go! Beautiful, again. You're perfect, Gary. I might not focus on you as much because you're, you're just nailing it every time. All right, ready? <laughs> and go! Beautiful, again. Hey, Jillian. I'm going to count down. You leave on two. Kim goes on three, so that you're out of the frame and in the air when we come to three, okay? One, two, and three. Better. Beautiful. Again. Hey, Gary, come this way a little bit. Yeah. Better. I love it. And one, two, and three. Maybe do it on three, both of you. <laughs> How long would it take to get the... Hey guys, Adrian, is it hard to move the stand 
half a foot further down. You're going to keep on shooting while they do it. Okay. Is his hair clear? No, it's right in there, isn't it? Now that we moved him over. And I wonder if he could get the six by in there, huh? This is, can we soften? Take a second, it's just a slip knot. Yeah. All right. Yep. Lean down again, Gary. Let me see. Yeah, that's almost too far. If you can split the difference. That's good. All right. Now you're going to do this thing for real, finally. But you, you got it already, though. It's just to fine tune it, I guess. All right. You should just mix it up. One time you do this, and you can even look that way for one. Yeah. I like that. Try to look that way. Let me see. Yeah, that's fun too. So just try to mix it up. Try to look down the tracks that way. Yeah. No, too much. So you could live between this way and out that way, up at her. You got it. <laughs> All right, ready? Christine, you ready? Two and a half. One, two, and three. Beautiful. Again. Yeah. A little bit easier because a lot of hair covers your face. Yes, yes, yes. And Gary, come this way a little bit. With your hands too. Yeah, better. I love it. That's great. Okay, and I'm sharp, Mike, right? Okay, one, two, and go! Oh, way too high, Christine. Yeah. Ready? One, two, and beautiful. Again. Something in between. Let me see. Yeah, exactly, that's it. One, two, you aren't quite ready. All right, ready? Be be that's beautiful. Mark that for me. Let's that check her face. Nice. Nicely done. Ready? One, two, and go! Beautiful. Still too high, Christine. A little bit more subtle. <laughs> the dress is over her head. It's like, whoa! Yeah. One, two, and go! Beautiful. I love it. Nice. Let's just do that a few times. Ready? One, two. Beautiful. Again. Yeah. More whip. Okay, a little bit more whip with the hair. Should we do it? Let's try it. When she does too much, she comes around and it covers her face. Yeah, so that's I the mean, thing. I don't mind like one or two pieces like flowing because I think that's kind of sexy. Yeah. Look at that. I'd love to see just a little bit more movement. Yeah. With it. More dynamic with it. Dynamic. I like it. Because her dress is like this, but her hair is like dot. Dot. You got to connect the dots here, people. Uh, it's, it's close, all the way in there. All the way in there. That's what. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> awesome. yes. yes. Ready? One, two, and go! I think you gotta help it out a little bit. You start out with the motion, and then Mike can help grab it. Okay, got it. Ready? One, two, and go! Yeah, better. Again. One, two, and go! Yeah! Woo! Let me see. So this one will dry the computer for a minute. Oh, take the arrow key and just go down. Keep on going. Keep on going. Keep on going. 
Wow. Give it a five. Hit the five, letter five. Check it out. Hey, Jillian, how are you with the wind machine? Oh, that's gorgeous. Even her facial expression is really good. Nailed it. Yeah. Are you ready? <laughs> Gary, you ready? Yeah. All right. One, two, and go! Beautiful. Again. I think we got it already. <laughs> oh, look at it. One, two, and go! Again. Uh, hang tight, Adrian, until she does it. You can start on maybe one... Ready? One, two, and go! So I guess you got to start on one. Wind on one, dress on two, came on three. I already got it. <laughs> Ready? One, two, and go! Nicely done! Whoa! Right? So what are we going to do with ourselves? Are we going to go home? Should he be, with her dress blowing that way and her, wind blow, her hair blowing that way, should he be more conscious of traveling backwards? He's looking at longer down the track. We got the wind idea. Yeah, but there's something coming. She's looking down the tracks too. So they're traveling that way? No. They're traveling that way. <laughs> I'm traveling into the frame. Oh, so you're, you're, wow, I never read into that. Well, the hair and the dress suggest they're moving that way. Yeah. When you're peeking down this way. So let's try a few, Gary, where you look over your shoulder this way. All the way over? Not all the way over, just, yeah, like that. Let's see. How does that feel? Yeah. It's better, huh? That is better. I agree with you, Mike Byrne. Let's do a few like that. Either you're smart or you just don't get it. <laughs> yeah. All right, ready? One, two, and go! I like it, again. Gotta start a little sooner. That's a military something something. Ready? Gary looking that way and one, two, and go! Yeah! <laughs> I think we got it. Yeah, let's get the scrim on there. Ready? One, two, and woohoo! Again. Christine, try to go on three this time. Okay. When she, then the hair get the best, the dress is down. Ready? One, two, and go! Yeah! Wow. Okay, last time. No, not last time. I'll give you a break, how about that? One, two, and go! Beautiful. All right, five minute break for everyone. We're gonna just look at what we have and see if you're done.
All right. The light looks good, huh? Can I stop down a third? So you ready? Yes, sir. L I like that. <laughs> All right. One, two, and go! Perfect here. Yeah. The hair came a little late, didn't it? Wow. Right? You look so glamorous. Just crazy glamorous. All right, let's do it again. Two more times. One, two, and go! Beautiful. I don't know what else to say. All right, Gary, small step this way. There you go. The hands too. Just move the hand over a little bit. Yeah. The other one too, the left, left hand. There you go. Let's try it. One, two, oh, hang on a second. Move this way a little bit, Kim. Kim, this way. Yeah. There you go. Nice. Let's see more of the cart. Ready? One, two, and go! Again. Oh, careful. Wow. It's so beautiful. Ready? And go! Woo! Nice. Countdown. Countdown. Ready? You can just let it go. Okay. Start the wind. One, two, and go! Nice. Wow. Oh, that's because I touched it. Yeah, there you go. Okay, sorry. Hey, Adrian. Yeah. I mean, it's a small little thing, but you're breaking my line on the rail tracks back there by just by this much. If you can move it back, I don't have to composite that later. It's just. Can you reach her from there? Get that far out. It's like one step back. Yeah. Yeah. No, not quite. Another half foot. Yeah. All right, ready? One, two, and go! Beautiful. Sorry for doing this over and over, but it's a balance between hair and dress and... We've already got it. We're just having fun. <laughs> yeah. Ready? One, two, and go! Woo! Too much hair in your face. On that and the last one too. Adrian, can you step toward camera, of course? So you're not pushing across the blade. Yeah. Makes more sense, huh? Ready? One, two, and go! Nice. Woo! That was awesome. Oh, that's good. Wow. The dress was a little bit too high there, Meredith. That's it. Don't be sorry, it's okay. It's just... All right, one more, and I think we got it. Two more. <laughs> Always one more. One, two, and go! Again, that was a little... In between, Meredith, that was a little too uh, modest. Or oh, mark that one. Wow, mark that one. Go uh, back. Kim, could you flip the... Uh, yeah. There are some nice ones there. Look at that. There you go. Looks good. Thank you. Beautiful. I mean, is he sharp too, Mike, or no? Yeah. Both holding. Nice. Gary, you're doing perfect. We don't have to say anything to you. You're just nailing it every time. Ready? One, two, and go! All right. You got it? Nailed it? So the sun is setting behind those trees. We're pretty much done. They got all the parts and pieces that we came here to capture. Um, really excited. The talent, extraordinary. Uh, Gary, our male talent, the texture of his face, the character. I mean, God, the, the, he nailed it. Just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful pictures there. Kim, our talent, the model, 
flowing the hair, the dress coming up, got a lot of energy. And composite wise, it's all sitting in there beautifully. Uh, could not be better. We have the tree line shaping the light exactly the same way as Bishop. And with that, I can just say just now that the sun is dipping behind these trees. Just the same time as we ended in Bishop, we're going to end it here today. So I'm going to sit down in front of the computer, put all these pieces together and create an image that I know will be a signature piece of mine. So I'm really, really happy. So thank you for joining me on this journey. It's been four pictures I'm truly proud of. Um, drawing for myself, for my own story the last half year, through a breakup and then finding my path again with this picture, the old man showing the way. So thank you for joining me along for this eight, nine days of shooting for pictures that I hope that you will learn a lot, lot from being a part of. Thank you.